Today we're going to go over Aster Analytic Learning Series using Text Parser in Aster. So Text Parser is part of our text analytics genre of analytics available to you in Aster. Like Ngram, Text Parser enables you to tokenize, but you don't have to tokenize. You can actually keep all the words together in a contiguous stream that it looks just like your input. But it allows you to do things like remove stop words. Stop words are things like is and the and 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 are. They're simple words that uh, you know don't really have much impact on a meaning of a, of a sentence. Um, another thing you can do is stemming, and I'll get to what stemming is a little bit later. Um, when you do use text parser um, in a, in, to, to tokenize it, it can only do it at a, a single gram, unlike um, ngram, which can go to multiple grams that you specify as an integer. Um, use cases are, you know, basically, you know, tokenization in single gram, and it allows you to normalize words in, across documents and things like that and filter out stop words and actually get down to a normalization of words for stemming and things like that. Uh, it's great for data preparation for other analytics such as TF-IDF or MinHash um, or so forth. Neat thing about uh, about this uh, analytic is the stemming aspect and stemming is basically a linguistic morphology. It allows you to take a word down to its base type. So, and I'll get to that a little bit here. And what I mean by that is if you look at stemming, so let's take words fishing, fished, or fisher. And it, the, the, the stem word of that, of those three words is fish. So that's what that really means. So um, you can imagine that across more complicated sets of words. So text parser is not only good for tokenization, we can emit a stream of words by being able to parse that whole stream and maintain that stream into a contiguous block, or we can actually tokenize into an individual token across the whole set into a table. Um, it's really simple to use. So you basically have an input table that you push into your text parser function, and then you have an output table as a result. So let's go ahead and take a look at the input table. Um, tweets underscore t parser is the name of my field or my table, and it contains these two fields. And this is very similar to my ngram video that I created earlier. Um, the GUID and the comments. The GUID is a global unique identifier for the tweet, and this is for Twitter data. Um, and then the comments field is the actual text of the tweet um, or the tweet itself. So if we do a select star from public.tweets t parser, and uh, we'll see that we have this data in the table. Um, and these are just the tweets that are contained that, uh, that are in that table. Um, to actually implement text parser is a fairly simple operation. You see here we have a create table public tweets t parser out. So I like to persist my values in, uh, in my um, SQL MapReduce functions into a table. So um, we're going to distribute by uh, hash and good, and that's one of my fields here in my uh, input table, tweets, t parser. And we're going to invoke that through this, select star from text parser on public tweets, t parser. So this is the name of my data source table in Aster. Text column is the comments field, which is one of my fields here. So this is the actual um, field that we're going to take action on. This field belongs to this particular table right there. Case insensitive, true. So we're just going to normalize everything to lower or lower case. We're going to implement stemming, which is that fish example I gave earlier. So we're actually going to normalize all the words inside of our uh, of our stream, and then we're going to ignore punctuation. We're going to actually use this regular expression to ignore periods and question marks and explanation points. We're going to list positions as false, which means I'm going to keep everything unique. So each word, even if it's duplicated, will have its own row in the field, in the output. Remove stop words, true. So we're going to actually remove words like the, and, is, and or. Um, and you can provide another predicate here, which allows you to specify your own dictionary. We're just going to use the one that comes with aster out of the box. And accumulate, we're going to um, keep this time the good and the comments field together. Um, and we're just going to throw it in those two fields are also from my input statement. Um, input table here. So let's take a look at what the table looks like. So when I go to select star from public tweets t parser out, order by good position, uh, limit 1000, this is what I get. These are my accumulated fields from my source, so I brought those over. Um, the, the actual token is the name of the token that's, uh, that was part of it, and you see here I've actually normalized that word across this, and then you know, the frequency of the word as it occurs in the, um, in the set inside that one document, and then the position of that word in the collection. That's kind of neat. 
especially when you're going to actually use that for your, um, you could use that for a time series analytic and do some interesting things there with NPath and whatnot. So if you want to do this yourself, please go ahead. You can actually create your table here um, in, inside of Aster Express or inside your Aster environment. And I had to jump down to, to is a, step two to populate the data is on the next page. So you can cut and paste this out and actually load that data into your table. Then come back up here to step three and you can actually run the text parser statement right here. Cut and paste that out. And then you can review your output right here. So that should be pretty simple to do. And let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what I actually did here inside of Aster Express. You can see here I created my table, T -parser, or tech, Tweets T Parser, and then ran my data source, which is right here. There's my data source. And then I came down to actually running the um, actual creation of the table T, uh, T Parser out based on the uh, text parser um, analytic here that I ran, and that's the actual data that came out of that system. So I hope you enjoyed text parser. It's a fairly simple uh, Aster analytic to run, uh, but it's very powerful and very fast. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a happy, happy day.